Utsi lived during a perilous time. Wolves, wild boar, and bears were common. Clashes between settlements and hunters were possible. So Utsi carried weapons. Along with his knife, he had a bow and arrows. His quiver, the oldest ever found, contained carefully crafted wooden arrows with flint arrowheads chipped to a razor's edge and glued on with pitch made from the sap of a birch tree. The feathers on the shafts are also carefully attached to stabilize the arrow in flight, suggesting advanced knowledge of aerodynamics. The geochemical analysis done on his tools indicates the existence of a prehistoric trade network that archaeologists have never, until now, been able to prove. Some of the flint shirts come from regions more than a hundred miles away. It suggests to us that the distribution of materials in his time, 5,300 years ago, was much more widespread than we thought. Analysis of his tools is also revealing more about his final days. If you look closely at the tools, they haven't been recently reworked. You'd expect Woodsy wants his tools to be ready for whatever crisis he may be facing. So it appears Utsi was in process in the last week of his life of trying to get there. But did he have time? It sort of supports the idea that Utsi's on the run because he's not taking time to put his tools in the tip-top shape. One of the most surprising items in his arsenal was far advanced for his time, an ax made of copper. This is an engineering marvel because Utsi has something nobody else has around. The Iceman's copper axe surprises archaeologists and forces a revision in the timeline of history. Before Utsi, scholars didn't think Alpine cultures had learned to smelt copper until about 2000 BC. But carbon dating shows that the Iceman's axe is far older than that. This means his people already knew how to heat copper-rich rock up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to extract the metal from the ore. The discovery of the ax meant they were stepping out of the age of stone tools a thousand years before experts thought possible. Utsi's finely crafted copper ax is the oldest preserved Neolithic ax ever found in Europe. If Utsi is representative of his time period, advanced medical knowledge, advanced technology with the ax, uh, advanced understanding of his environment, what does that make him to be? The ax was so advanced, some believe it marks Utsi as a man of great importance in his society. Stone carvings found almost 100 miles away in the valley of Val Camonica, near the site of Utsi's death, prominently feature the exact same kind of ax, suggesting that the weapon is a symbol of power. Was this power what ultimately led to Utsi's murder? The ability to study this frozen treasure is limited. The solution? Art imitating life. More than 5,000 years later, and almost 5,000 miles away, Utsi's 3D model twin is coming to life. Here, in Missouri, Gary Staub, a paleo artist and sculptor, resurrects history. For the past 20 years, he's built replicas of extinct creatures on a mammoth scale. He has fashioned prehistoric predators, sculpted monstrous reptiles, handcrafted extinct species. This creation is different. 
<laughs> Gary's team knows what Utsi looks like, so their job is to replicate him exactly as he looks right now. It's like Neolithic Christmas. <laughs> the plastic 3D model has arrived, and Gary has one of the biggest challenges of his career. His team gets to work, sculpting the old-fashioned way, all by hand. 